I am a blogger, a video maker, and possible future podcaster? If so, welcome to my pilot episode podcast. I'm John Marine. Welcome to John Marine Tube and this podcast. Please be sure to check out the description to this video to learn more about it. If you are inclined, I invite you to check me out on social media to help support my work even further and to contact me and connect with me. Other than that, let's begin with this video. In case you don't know about me, let me give you a brief introduction about me and my channel. As I mentioned so eloquently at the beginning of this video, my name is John Marine. I was born and raised here in Houston, Texas, and I'm living here in Houston, Texas. I have no real job, but primarily I am a blogger. I also like to create a bunch of media content. I'm trying to establish myself as a producer. My range includes the likes of digital art, 3D modeling, music, and much more. I've been blogging on the Blogger Blogspot platform since January 2009, but even before then, I mostly did my blogging on MySpace, especially back in the old days of MySpace. I enjoy a variety of different motorsports, and my favorite category of motorsports is GT Sports Car and Endurance Racing. My favorite racing event each year is the 24 Hours of Le Mans. I also try to follow a number of different special events such as the Daytona 500, the Indianapolis 500, the Monaco Grand Prix, Petit Le Mans, the 12 Hours of Sebring, the Bathurst 1000, the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb, and many more different motorsports events. I also follow more traditional sports. While I do watch professional sports, I mostly love college, and I especially love college football. As far as favorite teams go, let me name you as many as I can. I am a fan of the Houston Texans of the National Football League, the Houston Rockets of the National Basketball Association, the Houston Astros of Major League Baseball, Houston Dynamo FC of Major League Soccer, the Houston Dash of the NWSL, and when it comes to college, I'm a big fan of the University of Houston. I've never been a student of the University of Houston, but I strongly support their athletics. Besides the University of Houston, I also tend to follow schools such as the University of Texas in Austin, especially on the football side, Texas A&M University, Texas Southern University, Sam Houston State, and Lamar University. I am also a gamer, but in no way am I hardcore. During the Super Nintendo days, I was pretty much big on RPGs, but I since transitioned mostly to racing driving games. And my favorite arcade style racing game is Sega Super GT or Sega Scud Race. On the simulation front, I am a big fan of the Gran Turismo series. On the computer front, I mostly play GTR 2 and R Factor 1. I am also a fan of Assetto Corsa. I do have a racing wheel, even despite the fact it's pretty much ancient these days. I have a Logitech Driving Force Pro, which I used to use for Gran Turismo 4 and Gran Turismo 5. Besides racing games, I also play fighting games, and also classic first person shooters. Shooting games are very popular, especially these days, but I'm more the classic type. So more than likely, you'll be seeing me about Wolfenstein 3D, the classic Doom games, the Blake Stone games, even going to the very first Unreal Tournament, and I'm a big fan of Unreal Tournament 2004 as well. Recently I picked up Serious Sam out of PsychoGOG.com, and I haven't played it much lately, but I'm kind of experiencing that a lot. And on Steam I've been playing the Halo The Master Chief Collection, and I'm becoming a big fan of Combat Evolved, because I wanted to know how the Halo series evolved, and I just wanted some Halo experience. However, strangely enough, I first played Reach before I eventually played Combat Evolved. On the fighting game front, I'm a big fan of the Street Fighter series. I especially, well, it used to be that I loved um, Street Fighter 2, but I eventually got to love Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. I've also been a fan of the Tekken series. My first Tekken was Tekken 2 on PlayStation 1, and then eventually I got to play Tekken 3, and when I got Tekken 5, I played the um, arcade version of Tekken 1. The only Tekken games I haven't played yet are Tekken 4, Tekken 7, and Tekken 8. And that's as of this video. By the way, I forgot to mention I'm a big Ridge Racer series fan as well. My favorite series being Ridge Racer Type 4. Okay, so you found this podcast and you're wondering, 
What am I going to bring to this place? What am I going to bring to the podcasting realm? Well, if you know any of my content online, especially on the blogging front, you know that I'm about two things. Anything and everything. Anything on my mind about everything on my mind. I often tend to joke that I'm clickbait in a positive way. I'm here to positively waste your time. I'm careful with the topics I choose and more so how I word them. What has become the epitome of anything and everything is primarily about whatever topics I choose. There may be some topics I focus on more than others, but primarily I try not to be niche. So for instance, I might talk about my favorite racing and driving games in one podcast, and then on another podcast, I'm going to offer some life advice. I've mostly offered my voice through the means of blogging and through the means of making videos. However, and believe it or not, this is not going to be my first time doing anything audio related as far as offering my voice. You see, one time on Skype, I had an interview with someone who was wondering what I was doing with my YouTube career back in the day. We had an interview for about 45 minutes. Then we kind of ran into an issue. The one who was hosting the Skype interview forgot to record everything. And because that person never did an interview before, and because I never did an interview before, I was telling that person, you know, I'm learning, you're learning, don't worry about it. That also is a very important thing about me that I should share. I'm someone who tries to exude positive energy because I think there's too much negative going on in our world and not enough is being done to make things better. And when it comes to talking about life issues and offering insight in life issues, I'm going to be pretty transparent, sometimes unapologetic, and even sometimes fearless. Paramount to all of this is simply expressing my thoughts the way only I can. So I normally try to limit a number of different external influences. I'm not going to be screaming into the microphone. I'm not going to be dabbling with internet memes. I'm not even going to use shorthand or internet lingo. If I try to be humorous, I'm going to limit it. But above all else, I'm going to explain everything in good old fashioned, plain, boring English. In doing podcasts, I also have to wonder if I'll be able to sustain your interest for at least 15 minutes, preferably half an hour. And if I can go as far as I can, perhaps an hour, maybe longer. I am also unsure how many of these I'll be doing. Maybe I make one and just never do one again. Maybe I come along with a double digit number of podcasts. Maybe I'll come along with triple digit number of podcasts. However many I do and however many I share, I'm thankful you're along for the ride. I don't consider myself the next best thing in the podcasting realm, but I certainly want to offer my voice in any way possible, even in the form of podcasts. Since I'll be using YouTube to express myself, I figured I'd try to make things interesting by using slides, by using some fancy videos, just basically trying to spruce things up. I have some topics and some categories in mind, but if you have some topics you think I should look into, please be sure to contact me. If your suggested topic or topics are to my liking, and if I can come up with something interesting to share with you, then I'll be sure to discuss it in future material. And I'll just see where this goes from here. So until next time, Thank you for checking out this pilot podcast episode. I haven't even thought of a fancy name for my podcast yet either. It goes to show how much work I have to think about should I continue to make podcasting a thing for me. Other than that, love and peace. Take care and be well.